Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Open Discussions for Women. My name is Annie. I am your host, and I am elated to welcome you back into another power pack session whereby we study the book of Esther. We are in chapter four this week in the book of Esther, and on today, I prepare for you our reading from chapter four. Before we start, we will start with the word of prayer and then go right into the reading. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything that you have done and all that you're yet going to do. Father, we're asking of you that you would be in complete control in this session. Teach us something new from the word of God as it relates to the book of Esther. Father, minister to our hearts from the pages of this book. Father, as we search the scripture, looking for where we find you move miraculously, we ask that you would minister to us in a special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I am excited to come back another week in the book of Esther. We are in chapter four. Let us get started with the reading. The word of God reads as follows. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry. And he came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews, and fasting, and weeping, and wailing, and many lacked. In sack, lay in sackcloth and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther's maid, maids and chamberlains came and told it to her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved, and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Then called Esther for Hattash, one of the king's chamberlains whom he had appointed to attend upon her and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hattash went forth to Mordecai unto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened uh, unto him and of the son of the money and for the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. Also, he gave him the copy of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther and to declare it unto her. And to charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make request before him for her people. And Hattash came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again, Esther spake unto Hattash and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants... And the people of the king provinces do know that whosoever, whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner courts who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. But I have not been called to come in unto the king these 30 days. 
and they told to and they told to Mordecai Esther's word words then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews for if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this then Esther bade them return Mordecai's this answer go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days night or day I also and my maidens will fast likewise and so will I go into the king which is not according to the law and if I perish I perish so Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commended him this is the reading of Esther chapter 4 join me today as we unravel the mysteries of God from this chapter as we dive deep and dissect chapter 4 of Esther as we unveil the results of racism, of brutality, of animosity and pride, of hostility. As we unravel the power, there must be in this gift called fasting and praying. Let us discuss together chapter four of the book of Esther. <laughs> 